Hello everyone in YouTube, Right Stick, and we back for another video. In this video, I want to walk you through the steps that I have done to have my LG Stylo 2 uh, for Cricut unlocked so that way I can use it in my Metro PCS or AT&T or T-Mobile, whatever carrier I want, and it has to be the GSM carrier. So let's find out how we can get it done. First, let me explain to you the terms and conditions for a Cricut to have your phone uh, be unlocked through a Cricut. First, you have when you buy the phone, from the date of the activation, the phone has to be active six months or more. So if you have your phone active through Cricut Wireless more than six months, that means you are eligible to get your code for free when you call customer service. So what I did, I called customer service for Cricut and I have the phone. You have to have the information for the line, your name, plus your pin number and then you have to have the phone active more than six months if you do they will provide you with the code which is I have it on a piece of paper over here I'm gonna go ahead and put this one to the Cricut I'm gonna put different SIM card I'm not gonna use the same SIM card that a Cricut has I'm gonna do use uh, AT&T for instance because AT&T doesn't work we're gonna find out after we unlock the phone if AT&T SIM card it will work or not we will find out so we're going to go ahead and put the SIM card and go with the code and see how it worked. First, let me just take the back of the phone and then remove the battery. Take the Cricut SIM card. It should be nano. So if your phone has nano SIM, you have to have the same size SIM card. So I'm going to put AT&T SIM card. You can put Metro PCS. Anything but Cricut because if Cricut is working, so you, you have no need to have anything else so I'm gonna go ahead just close the back all the way and get the phone turn on from the back this is the stylo 2 and then when the phone turn on it should give us the option to add the pin number or the pin code for unlocking network which is I'm going to do it right in front to you guys so that way we get gonna be together watching this video uh, having the phone unlocked This step is very important because that option doesn't show on your phone unless if you have a different SIM. So we're going to go ahead and just unlock and you, you, you guys are going to see that the SIM network unlock pin attempt you have 10 times to attempt to put. After that if you, if you pass the 10 times you may do a factory locked which is going to be a big problem for you. Now let me go ahead. Once you push over here it should give you a keyboard so we're going to do it together. Two, nine. Four, nine, eight, four, one, six, five, four, two, zero, four, three, two, seven. Customer service, give me this number. I'm trying to get it unlocked. So we're gonna hit on unlock and wait, and they will tell you SIM network successfully unlocked. So this phone right now. It's unlocked and you can use it with any of the GSM carrier. I may guess the phone just made a restart right now. And once they made a restart, we should be able to use this phone with any uh, carrier. Or show lights over here. Uh, yep, so the phone by itself made a restart. Let's gonna restart the phone and see what's gonna happen. The phone just made the restart. Here you go, unlock the screen. And as you guys can see, it shows bars over here but because this sim card is not active I guess that's why it's not going to show us any service or anything like that but you can just go ahead and have any other service on this phone it has to be GSM either T-Mobile, Metro PCS, Simbobile, Ultra Mobile, etc any of the GSM it should work I wish you guys find this video very formative and you enjoy watching the video as well and Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content like that on Variety Stick. Subscribe and thumbs up as well. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thank you.